Polyphenols is one of the larger areas of study within our applied clinical research program on metabolic uh, health. Polyphenols are well known historically as antioxidants, but there's so much more to polyphenols beyond antioxidant activity in terms of potential clinical benefits. The benzene ring on which there is one hydroxyl group, that's a phenol. If you have more than one hydroxyl group, you have a polyphenol. So it's a very complex uh, family of, of chemical with more than 100,000 different uh, species. These are very potent molecules, almost like a drug. It's not a drug, it's a food, but so potent that it can actually deal with a lot of the problems that are associated with obesity and metabolic syndrome. So this is quite unusual for just one molecule. As the program developed, one of the first things we needed to do was look for unique or synergistic blends of extracts and polyphenols to, to target certain interesting outcomes. The polyphenol projects that are going on uh, right now are investigating a various area and in particular their effect on glucose management, on cognitive health, but also on vascular function. So we did our studies with high-level athletes, speed skaters, we gave them uh, cranberry extracts uh, with a lot of polyphenols and looked at the, the impact on, on the blood vessel, the extent to which the blood vessel vasodilated, became bigger. And we actually saw a, a robust effect of the acute intake of, of polyphenols on the on arteries of athletes, which are already very healthy. And so that was very exciting, and that led to the development of, of a product that the athletes used in Vancouver in 2010, the Olympic Games. So the next step is to test this product in a less healthy population, obese individuals, for example, and expect actually that it's going to have a beneficial effect on their blood vessels as well. We started to, uh, to look at an extract of strawberry and cranberry that we know provided some elagic acid, some procyanidine, some flavanols, some anthocyanins. Uh, we look at the different compounds, their bioavailability, different response in in vitro cells and animal studies, and finally in insulin resistant human subjects. Two important findings we observed. Uh, the first result is that the polyphenol supplement improves insulin sensitivity. And the second result is that the polyphenol supplement prevented an early compensatory insulin secretion. We find some polyphenols in the brain. They might be turning on some specific genes. The other hypothesis is their role in glucose metabolism. The third one is one that is just being unraveled and studied right now, uh, an hypothesis that we call the gut-brain axis. If you modulate the bacteria in your gut, you can change your mood, but also the way you think. The Neurophenol Project is a large consortium of scientists from Canada and from France, including various partners from the industry, but also with academic uh, scientists. So the goal of this project is to investigate the effect of small food on cognitive health. It's really been shown that there's a component in blueberries that is involved in, in, in this response. So we, uh, we decided to, to, to identify which component is important and develop a mix that would improve those cognitive function. It's a multidisciplinary study. It involves a large randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial, multi-site, multinational. These are some of the combinations, cranberries and endothelial function, strawberry and cranberry blends in glucose management, and blueberry and grape polyphenol blends in cognitive function, where we've invested a lot of our efforts to date and have seen really positive results. I really believe that the polyphenols have to play a role in our nutritional strategies in the future. These are molecules that have great potential. Strawberries, blueberries, and cranberries are superfruits, and they're indigenous fruits, berries that are native to North America, and we're just beginning to scratch the surface in terms of the compounds they contain and the potential clinical benefits.